It's the middle of winter and I'm going fishing. I fished this creek once before. I'll put a link to that video in the description. If I remember right, I caught rainbow trout and brown trout out of here. I'm in Utah. Uh, it's the middle of winter, but it's actually pretty decently warm. It's like 35 degrees here right now. Midwinter Tankara is kind of interesting. Like in Utah, it's doable in certain creeks that I know about. It's much more difficult in Idaho where I live. Uh, there's just more snow, it's colder, the, the roads are snowy, so the creeks are harder to access up in the mountains. And that's the case to a certain extent here in Utah. I mean, it's much more difficult to access these streams here in Utah than it is in in Georgia or North Carolina or whatever. I mean, it's all a spectrum, right? But anyway, I'm here in Utah and I'm gonna be fishing this creek. Hopefully we can catch something. Uh, I'm hoping to catch just like, I don't know, one or two fish. That'll just make me happy. I just wanna catch something. I'm not expecting big numbers or big fish. I just wanna catch a fish here today. I'm fishing the Dragon Tail Mizuchi rod with a, I think there's a nine foot line on here right now few feet of tippet and an all black yarn kabari. I'll put a picture of that here. Black thread, black hackle, black Shetland spindrift yarn. Winter fishing in general is just harder. The fish aren't quite as willing. So I'm not expecting great things here. Again, just want to catch something. And the realist in me knows to focus just on like the larger pools like this. But the optimist in me says, oh, they might be holding off to the side. You never know. So I'm going to fish everything at the start here. Oh, fish on. I was taking a picture. That's a good size. Wow. I was not paying attention. That is a brown trout. That's like an 11 inch brown trout. Very nice fish. Yeah, I was just taking thumbnail pictures with my phone just of the scene here and then all of a sudden there was a weight on the end of my line. That's fortuitous. I mean, I'm only five minutes in, so I'm happy and anything else we catch is just gravy. That was my first fish on Tankara this year. First Tankara fish of 2021. I would say it's my first trout, but I caught a rainbow trout ice fishing the other day, a couple days ago. So it's not my first trout of 2021. And I've caught like, I don't know, 30 other fish ice fishing this year. But that was my first Tankara fish. Oh, had a little fish on. I don't know if you guys saw that, but definitely had a little fish on. It's like three or four inches. Man, I missed Tenkara. I'm fishing now at the end of January. I think the last time I fished Tenkara was in November. I don't think I fished at all in December or most of January. So it's been, it's been a couple months. It's so fun. <laughs> I love it. You know, I've caught more than a thousand fish on Tenkara over the last couple of years, but it still gets my, my heart pumping when I see that line go tight, when I see that take. It is still so much fun for me. And even if it's not actually a take, even if it's just like getting the, the fly snagged on a rock, my heart just skips a beat. I love it. I don't think I was filming, unfortunately, when I caught this guy. He was right, right here. Nice little seven or eight inch brown trout.
All right, see ya. Well, it's too bad I wasn't recording for that. I caught it right there. What a beautiful place. Beautiful, beautiful place to fish. Got one. Where to go? Come on. Yes. Another brown trout. Just a few feet up from where I caught, caught the last one. I like catching brown trout. I don't catch too many of these in Idaho. I've definitely caught them there in multiple places, but they're more prevalent in Utah. Nice, beautiful fish. Oh, had one. Oh, no. The fish in here are few and far between, so whenever I do hook into one, it's an event. And whenever I miss it, it's just a tragedy. I was a little fish, but every fish counts. Let's see if it's still in here. I don't think it is. I think I saw it swim off over to the right somewhere. Darn it. Got one. Got it. Yes. It's another brown trout. Ooh, really pretty red spots on this one. See a fish. Skinny guy. Got one. Oh no! No! Oh, this is interesting. Let's see if we can catch any fish in this tunnel here. Fish on. Nice fish. That's a rainbow. Okay, I think this is gonna be the last fish of the day. That's a nice, let's see, almost a foot long. Yeah, about 11 inches. First rainbow trout of the day. All right, see ya, fish. Oh man, it's been a little bit of a grind out here, guys. Fished for three hours and landed five fish. I missed two more, and uh, I've been tracking that with my little ultralight fish counters here that I sell on flytongyarn.com. If you're the kind of person who likes to track how many fish you catch this is a great way to do it I'll put a link to these in the description and yeah it was a bit of a grind here five fish in three hours could be worse could be better I'm happy overall had a great time it's fun to catch fish with a Tinkara rod again it feels good to feel the joy again that I feel when I'm Tinkara fishing so hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching let me know what you think let me know if you have any questions I'll see you in the next one